Hey everybody, Alex Makinson here. Up for you is my next ID1 review of my ID1 ham radio that I did in my other videos. Here it is turned on. And this is a review of my complete setup now. I've got this antenna over here. This 23 hang on. This 23 centimeter antenna that I bought off the internet that connects onto the magnetic base there it's a matching Comet brand, it's a Comet antenna, I'll just put it I'll put it elsewhere, so just down on the floor actually I'll put it that's the antenna there that I use for the ID1 that makes it a complete setup now with my radio so yeah I'll just put it back up on on here and these are my these are our, my lovely furry friends that I've had since I was little thought I'd do a video of these little cuddlies see little cuddly furry friends and that bear there I've had since I was very little same with this little dog and I don't know where the other two bears come came they might have came from the storybook called Goldilocks and the Three Bears <laughs> but anyway I just thought I'd add that to the video just for some for some fun and love so <coughs> excuse me back to the radio now here up on screen this is the radio's remote control software that I have installed with with that lo with that symbol there ICOM ID1 that is that's what I click on to activate this so right, right now we're on 1295 megahertz, which is digital data mode. So, yeah, as you can see on the display of the radio, we are on digital data mode. TX inhibit means you can't transmit with the microphone. See, when I push the button in, nothing happens because it's in digital data mode. And there's the little green light telling me that it's on and working. So yeah, and these are your your USB cable here and Ethernet port and they go round all the way to the back of the radio and they plug into these ports here, your USB and your Ethernet right there into the back of the radio, into there. We all the way down to there. So yeah, and there's your power receptacle that's plugged into... <coughs> this power supply here that I might be selling one day, I don't know yet it's a 20 amp power tech and it does, it's been doing so well for me lately, I've ran all my rigs on it and here's the little Anderson power cable adapter that I have that I have plugged into it going into the neg negative terminal and the positive terminal with those little metal spade clips on the end of it so and there your inline fuses <clears throat> so yeah I just thought I'd show you the ID1 connected up to my laptop as a review so let's disconnect from the internet now eh? and we'll try and connect to the radio even though there's probably not going to be any access but we'll give it a go oh yep there's the light now it's blinking now so yeah, we've disconnected it from the wireless main home router and now we're going to connect up to the Ethernet port. Unide unidentified network, so I'll have to name the network. See, so, yeah. <coughs> Here we are. See, that's the internet settings page there. So, yeah. And this is the whole control software to control the radio, either via this RC24 control head or via this on screen computer software that it came with. It came with a CD ROM, and that's the download software for the radio for the ID1. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick review of my complete setup of my ICOM ID1 Internet Digital D-Star Transceiver. So, 
I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and you all take care and have an awesome week and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.